Hello and thanks for watching. This is a video to demonstrate some of the functions of this serviced dual CS 741Q. I'm told it's kind of a rare unit to find in America for 120 volts. Uh, quite a few more overseas in the 220 or 230, 240 volt range, but not too common to find them here. This has been gone through, power switch has been changed, the internal mechanism has been cleaned, lubricated, a couple of the capacitors have been changed and the setup's been done as well as there's a new new stylus. It's got some really interesting features. It's got either the quartz lock, which is on right now, and you can see you know, it's holding really well there under the flashing light. Strobe appears, makes it appear as though it's standing still. We can put it on pitch, however, and it shows, you know, right now, pitch is at zero, we're on 33. And we can change that. We can go up, speed it up, or we can take it back to zero and slow it down the other way. So you've got some manual controls as well as the quartz lockup on this one. Turn the pitch off. One of the things I wanted to show you is that the anti skate, that's what this laser disc is, I repurposed it. Uh, strobe on one side and an anti-skate test on the other below the arm. Measure of an anti-skate when it's set correctly is that the needle stays where it's placed on top of the uh, on top of the disc. You can see it's in contact and it's staying. Let's raise it, move it over a little bit here, lower it. Again, it's staying where it's put. Yeah. Help if I focused on the needle, perhaps. Lift it back up. All the uh, all the functions have been adjusted and set. Obviously, the anti skate, the uh, tracking force. I did go through the steps on setting this resonator back here. I believe it's working. I've never I've never used a unit with one of these before, so I I'm not positive, but it sounds really good and it's quiet I mean low rumble on this guy um, you'll see that in a few minutes when we do a second video to test it out so you can hear it thanks for watching hope it finds a good home